thank you, Chair. Uh, Ms. Our Lieutenant General Burgon, I apologize for calling you Miss. Um, I want to come back to you. So I, I, just to follow up on the question that I asked last time, is there a way that women veterans could offer feedback on their lessons learned and to support sort of quality insurance? I'm just wondering, is there any way, because I, I hear very clearly about the steering committee and that there's a lot of work happening, and I appreciate that, and probably will ask you a question about that in a moment. But what are the ways that we're actually, or are there ways that women veterans can actually give feedback back to the CAF to say, this would have been helpful for me, this would have made my journey a lot better. Um, I just think that is such an important essence because they have lessons for us to learn from. And thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And that's a very good point. And I think we do stakeholder engagement. So maybe we have to be a little bit more diversified in our stakeholder engagement and give the voice to our veterans, our women veterans, to come back and say, um, this is my experience, so that we can listen to them and, and potentially share with them. Because when we look, and, and that's one thing that we, we forget, but our veterans are our best recruiters. Okay, because especially women and visible minority join the military based on advice from people they know. And it's not like they need a permission, but they, they, they like being told, you should apply to the CAF because you're going to have a great career. And the more we can enable our veterans to have that voice of really talk positive about their experience, the more we're going to recruit. And it's important. So that exchange of lessons learned and maybe for us to share also what has changed um, in the last five or ten years so that they better understand and maybe they can say, okay, I feel good because you've changed uh, what happened to me, now you're, I'm not invisible anymore. And then they can uh, be a, a positive voice. So I take that point and we'll try to get more stakeholders and, and get veterans into our stakeholders' engagement to get their feedback. Well, I thank you, and I have like 10 seconds, so I don't have an opportunity, but I do think it is profoundly important because I think that when you, you talked about it, that recruitment aspect, we know that it's getting harder and harder for the CAF to recruit, so we need to heal some of those wounds so that we can see that opportunity. So I, I'm excited to see that happen.